the mainstream media obviously is in, in, without a doubt seeking to you know present this as its coup as some kind of democratic transition and you know doing what you know imperialist media have done throughout the world you know which is lie consistently about the nature of the fact Venezuela. Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. We are at Caracas, where delegates from nearly 85 countries have gathered to express solidarity with Venezuela and the Bolivarian Revolution. Today, we are joined by Lucas Kerner, a communicator working with the website VenezuelaAnalysis.com. Hello, Lucas. Lucas, could you first talk about the situation in which Venezuela Analysis was created and what was its intent? Sure. Venezuela Analysis was founded after the April 11, 2002 coup, which is important to note, was a media coup in which you know the the, cha uh, the opposition, together with elements of the military, kidnapped Chavez for 47 hours, and all of the media in Venezuela claimed that he had resigned, which and did not occur. And the international media, the New York Times, echoed this line and supported the, the this that in that moment the self-proclaimed president of Venezuela, Pedro Carmona. And Venezuela Analysis was founded as you know initially to give an, an alternative vision to break this kind of media blockade that's always existed uh, around Venezuela and give another vision not only you know for the international public at large but most importantly for uh, popular and left-wing movements around the world that you know see the Bolivar uh, experiment as you know as an opportunity to really build popular power and translate these lessons into our own context for our within our own struggles and uh, right now we are in a very almost a similar situation to when this, uh, the organization was founded. We again have an international media war. So could you talk about a bit about your experiences right now while trying to counter the international media war and the kind of uh, war that's actually happening? Well, the thing, I, we're uniquely placed in the sense that we have, all of our people are on the ground, you know, living the Venezuelan reality with all of its complexities of hyperinflation and difficulties of accessing water, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we are, you know, are rooted among Venezuela's popular movements. We have organic, you know, roots in these different uh, organizations that are, you know, of course, within the left of the Bolivarian socialist movement. So as such, you know, they certainly support, you know, the government against the imperialist onslaught, but at the same time have their own socialist horizon that goes beyond and criticizes the you know certain shortcomings errors and you know deviations of the Maduro administration and in this respect you know we try to give a critique of you know the government but also of the you know obviously resistance to imperialism that comes from the people who are fighting on the ground in the communes and all kinds of you know women indigenous organizations campesino organizations trying to build an alternative and in, in that respect we you know, the mainstream media obviously is in, in, without a doubt seeking to, you know, present this at this coup as some kind of democratic transition and, you know, doing what, you know, imperialist media have done throughout the world, you know, which is lie consistently about the nature of the facts. And we have, you know, really saw it, particularly in the 2017 uh, opposition violence, to document, you know, who is being killed, who are the, you know, the actual casualties of this, you know, opposition violence, which is universally betrayed as, you know, government repression, but in fact, it was much more complicated. You know, that, you know, this is a violent anti-democratic opposition that we've, we've sought to cover, you know, c contrary to the hegemonic mainstream media line. And uh, could you talk a bit about the media situation in Venezuela itself? What are the, how much support, for instance, does the opposition have and does it have its own media institutions and what is the kind of coverage of the issue that's happening inside the country? So you have to understand that in the there's an image of, uh, of Venezuela that you know you have a dictatorship here that the, the Venezuela the government controls all media that there's no space for dissent there's no freedom of speech but you know in fact anyone who comes here as you may have discovered you go to any kiosk any newspaper kiosk and you know nine out of ten of the newspapers are anti-government newspapers the most watched networks uh, Venevisión which is owned by Gustavo Cisneros Global Visión Televen those are all private anti-government networks the state network uh, VTV is is, you know the fourth or third watch network in the country so there really is a situation the opposition party as is in many countries in Latin America has uh, excuse me the media has played the role of the opposition party in Venezuela like it has in many countries in Latin America and you know obviously in a very you know supported by the United States and uh, what would you say would be uh, say let's say your message maybe to the left or organizations or communicators to the left who are actually trying to cover Venezuela in the sense that what is the kind of coverage that you think can be aimed for? 
I think it's really important to listen to what the, the grassroots are saying in Venezuela. Like, for example, the commune leader Angel Prado from the El Maisal commune. And this is a commune that has, you know, suffered a lot as a result of bureaucracy, of corruption. That he himself was not able to take his mayoral post due to the, you know, certain uh, very questionable practices on the part of the National Constituent Assembly and the local uh, PESUV, etc. But nonetheless, you know, he said recently, you know, we are ready to lay down our lives to defend this process and defend President. Maduro, notwithstanding all of our deep critiques of the government, and this is this is the position of Venezuela's uh, socialist Bolivarian movement, and you know these kinds of critiques of authoritarianism towards Maduro, you know that are that are coming out in some kind of center left circles and academia and elsewhere, are really served to, as you know an ideological cover for this ongoing coup because this is exactly what the United States does. It declares a government which is you know has no less democratic legitimacy than the Trump administration, than Theresa May, or the government government in India or in any or Brazil or Argentina, et cetera, and it presents it as a dictatorship and then it can justify all all measures to overthrow it, including war, you know, economic war and military bombardment. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Keep watching People's Dispatch.